We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Friends and family on Telegram. Families and friends will prosper. Pick up a business. Okay, guys, we are marking up AZPN stock. Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. <clears throat> We're going to start off in a monthly time frame. <clears throat> Let's zoom into price to see what's going on. So price is the last active candle. We can clearly see price is near a high. So once price breaks this high, we can see that market is going to go up to new areas of highs. So once price action breaks this low, if it breaks this low, we know that price is headed back down to areas of lows, which would be here. And where price is currently at is near a midpoint area. Let's see what's going on in the, in the market. So near price, we can see that we received some type of double top. Uh, so market consolidated in this area. So market pushed up once, came back down, pushed up twice, came back down. And we got a little bit of a push. We see a long wick. We got to figure out what's going on in this area. And we can clearly see that market came from a W. So we had a W here. Once we see that W formation, <clears throat> the market retest. And the market pushed up once, twice, almost three times. Still have time. Still have more areas to push in that area. So we're not going to count it out just yet. Let's head down the time frame to see what we see. Okay, so we can identify that W here. Uh, w retest or triple bottom. Retest, one, two, three. Market came up to highs. Uh, we got a double top and a retest, multiple retests. And then market pushed down once twice, three times, and it started over again. So there's another double bottom here, first, second, third, fourth, retest, market pushed up once, came back down after an area of a, look like a double top, could be multiple, multiple tops here, but reading after the red candle, double top, more to retest it. So probably pushed up, came back down, pushed up again, and then dropped back down into a decline W, as we can see. And this is the area that pushed the market up. So it's probably a retest in that area here that pushed the area back up to areas of highs. Uh, a long bullish can do. So we got to wait for this market to do what it do. Let's walk down the time frame and see if we can see what happened. So on the daily, we can see that multiple first, second, third, fourth retests and multiple retests in this area. And then the market pushed back up. So we still identifying that double bottom, that triple bottom and the retest here. Earlier time frame, we did see a double bottom. On this one, we see one, two, three, about four pushes to the bottom, uh, three pushes in the retest. And the market pushed up into that area, that high. We got to figure out what's going on in this area here. Headed back, headed down the time frame. So we see multiple touches at the area of support. So market pushed up once, came back to retest, and then market broke out to the resistance. And there's something going on in this area here. So price leg is about to push up. So we do have bodies above the previous body and we above the previous wick. Could be a doji forming soon. Need some type of retest to come back to this SR line that we created to come back up. If it's a true uptrend, if not, it'll come back down, come back down to this midpoint area, create some momentum and come right back up if it wants to. If not, it'll break back down to previous areas of lower lows of this midpoint line that we created on the higher time frame. We see them pushes at the bottom, market pushed up once, market pushed up twice. So that's the area consolidating here. So it's an incline. So we probably see some type of W's in there on a lower time frame. It's still identifying the same thing. So we can see that market broke up, came back down to retest, 
pushed up again. Okay, finally got that retest, found a retest on the 45 minute. So that's that break, retest, and market shot up. So we can see that market is working its way up that uptrend. Headed down to 30. I just identified another retest. But right now, market is pushing up to new areas of highs. Let's see what's going on in the five. So this area here, so we got uh, high highs. We see the low sitting on our SR line. We got that midpoint right in the middle. So the market broke. So we got to still wait for that market to come back down or return. So it's probably going to consolidate or it break back up. If not, it can just create that momentum off that support here and then break up to the upside. And once you see that retest, can go up to new areas of highs. So far, the market is working its way up. Set down a time frame on a three. Okay, so we can see that we got some type of double top in this area here. So area resistance, market pushed up once, came back down, market pushing up twice. So it could be a area of consolidation here. So this is what we're going to see, that the market is either going to consolidate until we get that breakout, the upside retest going up or it'll consolidate and will break down retest and go down if it does break the area of support it may not come back to our higher high areas that we created on the higher time frame it can come up to that uh price action high low so if you think about having a midpoint here price could still fall back down to the midpoint after the break and retest create some momentum here to still come up so we're still looking at that overall uptrend that we are in. Okay, so market has to create some momentum off that retest. Headed down to the one. Yeah, so now we see the market consolidating still. So we got that uh, break up to the highest highs, came back to retest, and now it's still pushing back up to the higher highs. Very bullish. So to figure out what's going to go on here, I'm going to wait for this market to finish consolidating. You're going to wait for some type of pattern. It could be an M that dropped the market down, retest and sell. It also could be a W that can push the market up. So that I mean, you, if you're looking for entry for that W, if it's a true a W, entry will be here. Red come down, green come back up, break, retest, and the market's going back up. I'm going up to, I think that's new areas of highs. I'm further back on the um, so that is not new areas of highs. It has to break this level here. So if we had an area of so it has to break, go back down to that one minute. So once price um, breaks the price action higher highs, which is here, and then we get that break and retest, it still have to break the highest high of the overall market, which is the green line that we created from the higher time frame. Once the market breaks that area, come back down to retest, that's when the market is creating new areas of highs with a full market of AZPN. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. AZPN stock.